Half past nine o'clock. Good Wednesday morning. Jay, Mel, and Buffalo Nichols joining us here in the Volume.com studio. Morning. Good yeah, morning. Welcome in. So yeah. so good to have you here. Thanks so much for uh, for joining us this yeah, morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, kind of kind of making a uh, quick little pass through here in Music City as uh, you got a bunch of tour dates. Next one uh, coming up in Wyoming, right? That's a few days off. Yeah, I'll be in uh, actually Fort Collins tomorrow, and then oh, okay. Wyoming on Saturday. So I've I've been going coast to coast like every week for yeah. the past like two quite, years. <laughs> quite the jump from Nashville to Fort Collins. Just back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Fort Collins, beautiful there in Colorado, though. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so glad to have you here in Nashville. Excited about uh, the brand new record, The Fatalist. It'll be out on uh, September the 15th. Uh, but... Um, What's been going on the last couple of years? Because uh, we were talking a little bit off air, and I know uh, you know you've made a name for yourself and made a living by doing a lot of live shows. And mm-hmm. now that you're able to do that, you know there was obviously a little bit of a pause there. But uh, as you're getting back into things, uh, the the album, the new album, was a lot of that written during that period where you were kind of locked down, where we we're all kind of locked down, and you couldn't couldn't really play live shows was that something that uh that you worked on writing uh the first album was uh written during that time okay um and then it was you know full speed ahead after that and i didn't have a lot of time to work on the, the second album uh, so i had to <laughs> i really had to just you know turn off the phone and just focus for for a few weeks and and get some songs out and uh, the second album has a it feels more like alive, whereas the first album was very much like what happens when you're alone for a month. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And that's uh, and, and a lot of uh, a lot of artists will say too that you know you you, go, you write a batch of songs and maybe you put a record together and maybe you've got twenty songs, but ten to twelve go on the record, so mm-hmm. you've got some songs that you know might just maybe not fit with the other ones you know as a as a full piece of art from yeah. start to finish did you have that did you have some of those songs or some of those ideas that kind of as you had more time to work on them that kind of led you into the the material for the second record yeah the first album i had so many songs to choose from i, I think i wrote like 50 or 60 songs oh wow and I had to narrow it down. Um, but the second time around, it was the complete opposite. I didn't want to go back and use those songs because I wanted to like try to prove to myself that I was still an artist and not just a you know a, a, a traveling uh, comedian or whatever I, <laughs> I need to be. Um, but the second one was totally different. I I just had a few songs and I really had to like force myself to get to get the whole album done. Um, so it was a different process, a different mind state, and uh, but you know I like the challenge. Sure, and you still have all those songs that, if you want to revisit at some point, that's uh, that that's a beautiful thing too. Yeah. Again, uh, Buffalo Nichols joining us here in studio. Uh, he will be back here in Nashville, actually playing the Blue Room coming up on uh, December the second. Uh, those tickets are on sale now at ThirdManRecords.com. Uh, but uh, would you play a couple of songs from the new album for us? I sure will. All right, which one are we uh, going to do first? I'm going to play a song called The Difference. All right, we've got Buffalo Nichols live here on Lightning 100 and streaming at volume.com slash lightning100. comes time to write your story I was barely mentioned Just a minor role, a place you'd go when you needed attention But if I'm just a rest stop for your soul, I'll let it be Cause I just don't know the difference between love and company And the sun don't always shine on me But I know that it's there And they don't care if we live or die But the light is ours to share And it's only you who's bleeding But the pain is mine to bear And I'm too weak to even speak Or ask you to be fair comes time to write my story you'll get your own chapter i'll 
I'll tell the tale of how I fell and landed in disaster And you can be the hero who comes to rescue me Cause I just don't know the difference between love and company And the sun don't always shine on me But I know that it's there And it don't care if we live or die But the light is ours to share And now both of us are bleeding But the pain is mine ask you to be fair and I never complained but it didn't mean I was incapable of feeling pain and I stayed in my place I knew you were no good but you'd be so hard to replace Well, it must be time to end this story For you have sprouted wings I'll go back to my solitude You'll go find better things But if you should grow tired On the road that lies ahead I hope you won't forget the one Who kept your ego fed Sun don't always shine on me But I know that it's there And it don't care if we live or die But the light is ours to share And now both of us are bleeding And the pain is mine to bear And we're both weak But I at least am somewhat self-aware Buffalo Nichols tugging both the guitar strings and the heart strings live in the volume.com studio this morning. That one called The Difference. Going to be on that new record, The Fatalist. Make sure you are staying tuned for that. Well said, too, Mel. That was beautiful. Well, thank and you, thank you so much. That's uh, That rings true. Won't forget the one who kept your ego fed. Mm-hmm. That's uh, and, and that's something that I've, I've noticed, too, about your uh, music. Uh, again, we've got Buffalo Nichols live in the studio uh, right now that it's a... Uh, the blues can be a form that it, it's it includes everyday life. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just like you know, like wild stories or just you know depressing this or whatever that mm-hmm. you know people would kind of define as blues music. It really is a reflection of of everyday life. Uh, who were some of your inspirational? Like, where did you garner? Where, when did you first pick up a guitar? Was it something that you heard on the radio? Did you have family someone in your family maybe that played and and that was your inspiration but how how did you kind of get started in 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 playing music uh there there was a uh, not a whole lot of music as far as instruments in my house i mean as far as people playing them yeah. we had like a, a a casio keyboard and an acoustic guitar um but i was the first one to kind of pick it up and take it seriously i just treated it like a, a toy when i was growing up and just uh, messed around with it and I don't know why, but for some reason it just made sense to me. I just kept working at it without any like idea of what I was even supposed to do with it. It was just something that I enjoyed doing, and then, you know, just started discovering music and understanding like, oh, this is the thing they use to make that. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Just kept going. Uh, self-taught. Yeah, did you take really? Yeah. Did you, did you never took a guitar lesson. I took one guitar lesson after I'd been playing for like ten years because <laughs> I was convinced that I was like missing something, and I, I'm missing a lot actually. Right. <laughs> but, but I was like, I, my brain was already hardwired to just do things by ear, and I can't, I can't figure out the the reading part. Well, that's <laughs> you know some of the the greatest musicians that we've ever heard produce music is that same thing. It just some, some folks of the worst are ones too. some. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm I'm not as familiar with those folks, but I'm I'm familiar with uh, well folks like you and the late Eddie Van Halen was oh, yeah. another one that uh, famously is like I I couldn't read music, could write music to save my life, mm-hmm. but seemed to figure it out quite well. I uh, love uh, the sound of that guitar too. Uh, what kind of guitar is that? That's a it's a recording king. Yeah, the, the company actually it's, is based here in Nashville. I think at least everybody I know who works there is here in Nashville, and they've been you know kind to me. I've been playing their stuff for a while and 
just great, great instruments. Uh, it sounds great, and it sounds even greater when you've got a player like Buffalo Nichols. Again, uh, joining us here in the studio, uh, he'll be back for a ticketed show coming up on December the 2nd out at the Blue Room. And yes, those tickets are on sale now at thirdmanrecords.com. The new album, The Fatalist, will be out on the 15th of next month, but you can uh, pre-order that now. Uh, in fact, uh, you're going to play another song from the new album, right? I am. This one is a... A classic Buffalo Nichols. It's called uh, "Love Is All." All right, and that's uh, it, th- that's the current single, correct? Yes. And uh, the one that would uh, you just played, "The Difference," will actually be releasing next week. Uh, again, and both are on the brand new album, "The Fatalist," which will be out on September fifteenth. But uh, once again. We welcome uh, here in the studio and live here on Lightning 100. You can also take a peek inside the studio, volume.com slash lightning 100. Here's another song from Buffalo Nichols, a live version of Love Is All on Nashville's independent radio, Lightning 100. I know you can't see what I just did, but I just tuned this guitar by looking at it. I'm very impressed with myself right now. Your eyes, they shine Your eyes, they shine much brighter Than any precious stone And I lived my life I lived my life in darkness And I made the dark my home Does this mean? Cause I don't understand. Does it mean we'll never have to feel so heartbroken again? Oh, does it mean that I can wash my hands of this longing that's been burning since I don't remember when? Cause the rules they have been written, but they're hard to understand. I've seen much bad behavior in the canon of good men. I believe that God is everything and everything is love If love is all we have right now, well I think we have enough Now your dreams are my dreams Your dreams are my dreams and baby We'll dream forevermore And your fears are my fears Your fears are my fears And darling, you'll never have to face them alone Never have to feel so heartbroken again No, does it mean that we can wash our hands Of this loneliness that's killing us and smile once again Cause the rules they have been written but they're hard to understand I've seen much bad behavior in the canon of good men I believe that God is everything and everything is love If love is all we have right now think we have enough And when it seems that there's nothing I can do You're the only thing I can hold on to You're like heaven in my hands Again, Buffalo Nichols live here in the volume.com studio. Love is all the name of that one. 
played on the guitar that somehow he tuned by looking at it. And we were impressed, and it sounded too. sounded great. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you, but we were impressed, too. 